during Week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams to end the season. Brandon Gates gets Player of the Week, having one of his best performances of this season. Wish he'd played like that the entire season, but he didn't, so we had to get a different running back. But hey, the potential's there. The regular season for Season 3 is over with. We see the playoff brackets. We have a first round bye. So does Atlanta. And it's the same picture we saw. You know, no one changed. No one got knocked out. Uh, actually, no, I lied. The Patriots got knocked out. The Jets are in. Aaron Rodgers, possibly his last season, gets in there. The Browns moved up. Right? Yeah, because it's the. Was it the Browns versus the Patriots? I think that's what it was. Browns versus Patriots. I think it was Kansas City versus Jacksonville. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to predict Pittsburgh wins. Pittsburgh go there. Uh, I think the Browns will beat Kansas City. So we'll probably play Cleveland the first round because I think Cleveland had the better record than Kansas City. But it is Patrick Mahomes. You never know. I think. Cleveland moves and plays us. And I think Jacksonville is going to beat the Jets. So we're either going to play Cleveland or Jacksonville. I don't think we play any other team. I think San Francisco beats Dallas. Eagles beat Washington. And I think Carolina will beat Minnesota. We get to look at the weekly awards of the entire season. Anthony Richardson, week one, got player of the week. We didn't get one week two. We got a double one week three. Anthony Richardson and Shaquille Leonard. That's three on the board for us. Kenny Moore getting one. And more, oh, Garrison Kyle and Anthony Richardson. There's, there we go. You see all... Oh, there, Anthony Richardson got a lot of player of the weeks. Nick Cross up there. So far, we Anthony Richardson again. Ant, so far, the defense has not had a consistent player. Shaquille Leonard's had a couple. Anthony Richardson again. Anthony Richardson's been our only player of the week offensively. Justin Simmons. And then Brandon, oh, Brandon Gates. If Devonna Chain was there, he'd probably get a couple. B. John Robson did not get a lot. Probably because we really leaned into Anthony Richardson just doing his thing. We look at the yearly awards. Anthony Richardson wins MVP. What a story for Anthony Richardson. Missed the playoff. Season 1, Season 2 gets injured, we win the Super Bowl, Season 3 he's an MVP. Coach of the Year, we came in second place, Doug Peterson wins the award. I think they had a 12-5 and record, we were 15-2. and I feel like we should have won it, or at least Mike Tomlin should have won it. Us and the Steelers both had 15-2 and records, but for Doug Peterson to win that award, I, as the fifth seed, I just don't see it. And not only that, Atlanta number one seed, it's just... Yeah, it just felt like a ripoff. We look at the Offensive Player of the Year. We have Michael Pittman winning that award. Anthony Richardson was on there as well. Defensive Player of the Year. I, this is our first Defensive Player of the Year in uh, Madden 24 with this Colts franchise. I don't know if any of my franchises we've won Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know. If, have we won MVP either? Probably MVP. I don't know about Defensive Player of the Year, though. Kenny Moore was number four. We had Justin Simmons at number nine. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Bobby Dresker made it down, uh, made all the way up to number two. Tough to beat a wide receiver, but you know what? Bobby was doing his thing. Not only that, Donovan Barlow, number six. We did not have any defensive rookies, I don't think, so yeah. shout out to Nard Barlow. Best quarterback goes to the MVP, Anthony Richardson. He put in the work. Best running back. We got B. John Robson, number eight, but the winner is Nick Chubb. He put in that work. Best wide receiver, Michael Pittman. And, oh, I, I passed his name. I, I could have sworn Alec Pierce was here, and he is at number four. Best O-line, Quentin Nelson, our center, picks up the award. To think we moved him from, I think, left guard to center. It's just impressive. And he's on there. He wins it. I just... I, I, have we ever won best O-line? I don't know. Jake Witt, surprisingly, was number five. And Braden Smith, number nine, which after this season, we will be letting him go. I thought about maybe re-signing him, but we signed Alec Pierce to a $22 million deal for one year, and we do not have the cap space to bring back Braden Smith, so he will be going into free agency. Best D-line. At one point, we did have Khalil Mack on here. Cleo Mack, uh, oh, there's the rookie of the year. Cleo Mack 
he's no longer here, unfortunately. But Greg Rousseau, oh, he, he was the one causing us problems in uh, the Buffalo game. Best linebacker, Shaquille Leonard, he's your uh, defensive player of the year, so it's just obvious he's your best linebacker. We had, oh my God, we had so many best uh, DB candidates. Kenny Moore picks up the award, which is what I wanted, because he had the award last season until Julius Brent stole it from him. But you know what? He got it this time. Hopefully he gets a dev trade boost by the Super Bowl. Justin Simmons, number two. Nick Cross, number three. Julius Brent's number four. All the way at the bottom, Glenn McKee, number 10. To think that final interception against the Rams got him top 10. A lot of these guys weren't on here for a good chunk of the season. See, we finished with the top four spots. Then Matt Gaywin's best kicker, he was number three for a while. I don't know how he got it, but it is what it is. Then we look at the NFC side of it. Saquon got best offensive player of the year. Aaron Donald, defensive player of the year. He was a menace with 24 sacks. Aaron Womack, I think that's the Buccaneers' new quarterback. Glenn Golden, defensive rookie of the year. Best quarterback, Desmond Ritter. For the Falcons, the number one seed. Best running back, Saquon. Wow, the the Falcons put in work, huh? I think we took Bijan from them. They did not need Bijan. Best wide receiver goes to Devo Samuel. The Falcons didn't have any best wide receivers, so Saquon must be putting that work. Wyatt Teller gets uh, best O-line. Aaron Donald, best uh, defensive lineman. Best linebacker goes to Daniel Hunter. Best DB goes to A.J. Terrell Jr. The Falcons have a stacked uh, roster like we do. Then best kicker goes to Riley Patterson. We look at our players' stats. Anthony Richardson, almost 6,000 yards. Completion percentage of 63%. 62 touchdowns, 27 interceptions. This may be the best season I've had with any quarterback. Carson Wentz is arguable last season just for the fact that like he played less games. But who knows? Uh, then you have Kirk Cousins. He, he got some play time. Four touchdowns, one interception. Kirk O'Chains. Is it Kirk, Kirk O'Chains? I, I think. I don't know. He got four touchdowns. Wow. 20 for 27. That's really good. As for rushing, Bijan gets over 1,000. 11 touchdowns. Brandon Gates, almost 600. Seven touchdowns. Anthony Richardson, he had seven rushing touchdowns, 200 yards. Cordero Patterson, almost 200, four touchdowns. Devonta Chain went down the first game of the season, but 37 yards, he did something. Jelani Woods, 22 with that fullback dive. Evan Hull came in, I believe, for some plays when uh, Devonta Chain got injured. Alec Pierce, six. Nolan Little, six. Kyle Avery, two. Michael Pittman, one. We did it, right? No, okay. Last season, I'm pretty sure Josh Downs uh, had negative yards, which, wow, we didn't give him any rushing yards at all. Receiving Michael Pittman, nearly 20 touchdowns. He has 19, 1,400 yards. Alec Pierce, 1,300, 13 touchdowns. These two balled out this season. Isaiah Likely, also over 1,000, seven touchdowns. Josh Downs, over 500, five touchdowns. This is where it kind of a drop off, but we did. Spread the ball a lot. Bijan over 302 touchdowns. Donovan Barlow over 302 touchdowns. Brandon Gates over 202 touchdowns. Jelani Woods over 203 touchdowns. Bobby Dresker had 10 touchdowns over 200 yards. We we used them a lot in that goal line situation. Cordero Patterson 188 yards, one touchdown. Dave Brown 54 yards, a touchdown. Will Mallory 45 yards. I think all of that came off of that last game. Nolan Little, 33, got his first touchdown of the season against the Rams. Devon Chain got 23 yards. And we didn't pass the ball to uh, Evan Hall or Kyle Avery. Look at the defense. You see all the tackles. I mean, you see all the stats. I mean, interceptions, Justin Simmons, 6. Shaquille Leonard, 10. Led us with sacks. You know, let's just show it all. From sacks, Shaquille Leonard, led us, led us with interceptions. Cleo Mack with 8. Garrison Kyle, four. Quiddy Pay, four. Joe Mackey, three and a half. Eric Kendricks, three. Kenny Moore, two. Joe Forrest Buckner, a sack and a half. B.J. Hill, sack and a half. I was really expecting these two to put in work, but you know what? Maybe it's because they had so much pressure on them that our edges were getting to the outside. Ibu Kama, sack and a half. He had a down season. He usually does really well for us. Justin Simmons, a sack. Nick Cross, a sack. Christian Barmore got his first sack against uh, the Rams, so that was clutch for him. You see the interceptions. 
We had 48, so two less than last season, I think. Kenny Moore with eight. Justin Simmons, six. Julius Brent, six. Nick Cross, five. Glenn McKee, four. Eric Kendricks, three. He was a real big steal for us. Garrison Kyle, one. Benjamin St. Juice, one. Let's look at all the tackles and all that stuff. I mean, our defense put in work. Oh, this is uh, Javion Clowney got some playing time, so there's that. That That is right. We have players who uh, were doing some work for us this season. How many, uh, let me see, fumble, forced fumbles, kill under two. Let's see, fumble recovery. I guess they don't count fumble recoveries. Oh, no, they do. Okay, that's weird. Who got pick sixes? That's, okay, safety. Who's got safeties? Only Eric Kendricks. That, okay, touchdowns. Julius Brent's three. Glenn McKee, one. Shaquille Leonard, one. Justin Simmons, one. Nick Cross, one. Then we look at our kicker of the year, Matt Gay. Only missed one field goal. 90%. Longest was 54. And then for extra points, he only missed two. Kicking at 98%. What's his, they said his longest, right? It was 54. Wow, 549 yard field goals. That is impressive. We look at the kick returns over 2,000 yards for Cordero Patterson. Two touchdowns. That is insane. And then punt returns. I mean, not a lot. I would like to get one punt, uh, punt return touchdown, but 200 yards for Cordero Patterson, one of the goats of returning that ball. I said Anthony Richardson broke records, and he definitely did. As you see, he passes that 2013 record by Payne Manning. And it just feels nice, which Payne Manning should be. No, really. I thought he would have been up here with the Colts as well, but it's a lot of great players. As for the passing touchdowns, breaks that 2013 record by Payne Manning. 62 he threw seven more than Payne Manning. Looking at it, I, I guess Aaron Donald did break the NFL record for sacks. So he needed one sack to break it, and he got two against us. I thought Michael Strahan held the record. It's really held by uh, Gustadnu. I, I don't know if I said that right. That is we I could have sworn Michael Strahan had 24, but Aaron Donald gets a sack record. and He was close here, too. Wow. Aaron Donald put it in work. And then we just get to see the top performers this season and also the matchups. Oh, Kansas City did have a better record than Cleveland. See, Anthony Richardson led the league in passing. Mahomes, Ritter, top three. Najee Harris led the league in rushing yards. I'm surprised Najee. Oh, you know what? It's How did Saquon get? Oh, you know what? No, Saquon got it for the NFC. Nick Chubb, yeah, Nick Chubb, 19 rushing touchdowns. Crazy. Michael Pittman was top three for receiving yards. See Aaron Donald put in that work. So did TJ Watt. Shaquille Leonard and Kenny Moore leading the league with interceptions. And AJ Terrell Jr., Falcons corner, he won best DB for them. But six tied, I think, a couple of our players. And we'll do a recap of our roster before the Super Bowl and going into the playoffs. We have 96 overall. Anthony Richardson with that morale boost. Wow, he has a 99 uh, medium throw accuracy. That is pretty damn good. You see Kirk Cousins there, 75. Devonna Chain, 99. B. John Robson, 94. Brandon Gates. We have a pretty stacked uh, running back room if Devon Chain was healthy. But listen, our running back room is pretty good. We don't have any fullbacks. Michael Pittman Jr., 93 overall. Alec Pierce, 92. We have a pretty good wide receiver room. See Josh Downs, 82. He's injured. Actually, we get him back uh, in the, whatever game we play in the playoffs. Donovan Barlow, Nolan Little. I wanted to build up Nolan Little so badly. It's just not working. As for tight ends, we have some pretty good tight ends. Isaiah Likely, Bobby Dresker, who's injured. Jelani Woods, Will Mallory, left tackles. Jake Witt's been like our just uh, Swiss Army knife. We've been plugging him wherever injuries go. Jake Witt just comes in. We have uh, Bernard Raymond. He's been playing really well. Brandon Smith, which I believe he was right guard. We moved him over to left guard. Quentin Nelson, center. Quentin Nelson, I'm surprised he's not 99, to be honest. Quentin Nelson was a left guard. We moved him to center. Brandon Smith uh, was right guard. We moved him to left guard. It's just, that's what we needed. We let Ryan Kelly go. Osiris Torrance, 84. Got him from the Bills. Earl Newsom, we drafted him. Left end, Quiddy Pay, Christian Barmore, they put in work. 
Khalil Max there. He's been putting in work. We moved him from right outside linebacker to the right end. Samson Ibu Camp 79. Which if I wanted to, because Garrison Kyle's injured, I could put Khalil Mack to the outside. No, Khalil Mack's been playing really well. I don't want to mess that up. DeForest Buckner, BJ Hill, they've been doing in, uh doing their work. Shaquille Leonard, Eric Hendricks. They're our left outside linebackers. They're putting in work. Joe Mackey, he was a left outside linebacker when we drafted him. Moved him over to middle linebacker. To think he was like low, is he higher than Eric Hendricks? Oh, same overall. Okay. But Joe Mackey. He, he was lower than C.J. Mosley when this season started, but I had faith in him. Look at him now. We have N'Kobe Dean, Kelvin Gaines. We have some depth at linebacker. Garrison Kyle's injured. I think he's out for the entire playoffs, unless we get to the Super Bowl. Then he comes back. Davion Clowney, he won't be starting. I'll move over to Kobe Dean or someone to fill in for Garrison Kyle. Our cornerbacks is where we oof, we are beautiful. Julius Brents, 93. Kenny Moore, 89. Glenn McKee, 84. Benjamin St. Jude, 77. Darius Rush, 75. We have great cornerbacks. Free safeties, Justin Simmons, 93 overall. Rodney Thomas, the second, 76 overall. And Nick Cross, who he got injured during practice, he's fine, just one week. But 88, Daniel Scott, 75, then Gavarius Owens, 84 overall, Matt Gay, 85 overall, Brad Spencer. We get to look at the lineup and how the players look. Yeah, I don't understand how Pittman had the season he did. He got no breakouts. Alec Pierce went from star to X Factor. He had two breakouts, Nolan Little normal like B. John Robinson's a superstar. Oh wow, Devon Chain's not even in our depth chart because he's injured, but he's a superstar X Factor. Surprised Anthony Richardson didn't get any breakouts. I expect him to move up to a superstar X Factor or a superstar before the Super Bowl. And then yeah, Pitt Pittman should move up too. I wouldn't be surprised if Quentin Nelson moves up to X Factor. Do you see them? We Oof, these guys balled out this season. You see the defense, and oof, like I said, we moved N'Kobe Dean over. Defense pretty damn good. Nick Cross, won't be surprised if he gets bumped up to Superstar X Factor. Want him to get bumped up to Superstar. Quiddy Pay probably stays a star. DeForest Buckner probably moves down to normal. Cleo's Cleo's probably fine as a star. If he gets bumped up to Superstar, that's crazy. Julius Brent's cooking. Glenn McKee he probably stays a star, but that's that's our team. And then you see the special teams. Got them stars at special teams. Cordero Patterson's just normal. Really wanted Nolan Little to be the guy, but Cordero Patterson's still at 90 at returning. We look at the NFL playoffs. The wild card's over. We move on to the divisional, and I called the AFC perfectly. I said Cleveland beats Kansas City. I said Pittsburgh wins. I said Jacksonville wins. NFC, the only one I got right was the Eagles. Carolina loses first round after they made the conference last season, and Dallas gets an upset against San Francisco. Can Dallas somehow make a run back to the Super Bowl as the seventh seed? Who knows? But you see Pittsburgh put in work against uh, the Raiders. Cleveland just barely beat Kansas City and Jaguars. They blew out the Jets at the the Panthers didn't put up much of a fight. Washington didn't put up much of a fight. San Francisco lost by just a slim margin. I think we see Philly versus Atlanta in the conference. And I see, I think we beat, uh, or not beat, I think we, you see us versus Pittsburgh in the conference. But we got to focus on Cleveland right now. We are playing the 11-6 and six Cleveland Browns in the playoffs. They have Miles Garrett. They have Nick Chubb. They have Threats. See the overall ranks. We're number one for points per game, number one for passing yardage, number seven for rushing, number 23 for points per game, number 32 for passing yardage, number five for defending the run. Hey, we moved up to five. Cleveland, on the other hand, they are number 16 for points per game. They are one of the worst teams at passing the ball. They are the number one rushing team, which usually is us, but Cleveland, whoof. Nick Chubb, he did ball out. I think if we stop Nick Chubb, we stop Cleveland. But then you see there, number 12 for defensive points per game. Number 6 for defending the pass. Number 18 for defending the run. Offensive ranks were number 1. They're number 20. They're number 26 for passing touchdowns. We're number 1. They're number 2 for rushing touchdowns. We're number 4. That's crazy. Wow, the difference between 2 and 4 was just 1. Giveaways were dead last. 
They're number 15. They're number 18 for third down percentage. We're number two. Defensive ranks were dead last. They're number seven, which I don't understand how they're number seven ranked defense when you look at the comparisons between both teams. It is what it is. They're number 15 for touchdowns allowed. We're number 24. They're number 29 for sacks. We're number four. They're number 19 for takeaways. We're number one. They're number 16 for red zone percentage. We're number 28. Going into this playoff game, we're basically healthy. All our guys came back. Garrison Kyle, he's out only two weeks. So like I said, we make the Super Bowl. He's back. But that's going to be interesting. I mean, he was having his best season of his two-year career. But uh, I, we don't... If it's a 4-3, you know, someone's got to be there. We're going to use N'Kobe Dean, seeing how, see how he does. I feel like Davion Clowney's too old. Rather trust one of the young guys. We'll see what happens with that. As for the Browns, Je uh, Jedrick Wills Jr., their starting left tackle is injured. That's big. We look at this Browns roster for the first time. They have Deshaun Watson still under that huge contract. They have Dorian Tom Thompson Robinson still. And Clayton Vow, running back 97, Nick Chubb. He's someone I consider trading for, but I did not want to take him because long term it would have been crazy. Robert Lynch, and they have Pierre Strong Jr. Fullback, not someone they're probably going to use. Wide receiver, Amari Cooper, okay, 91. Elijah Moore, 85. Besides that, they don't really have any wide receivers. I'm scared of it. It's these two, really. Tight end, they have Eddie Hobbs, which we saw David Njoku went to Tennessee. Ian Tan, they, ooh, they don't, they, I'm not really scared. Ooh, left tackle. Well, Michael Wimbley, he's, he possibly is their starter. Let's left guard, Julian Saw, okay, young. Ethan Posick, 80. Luke Weipler, 70. Then they have Mason Brooks at right guard, and they have Jack Conklin at right tackle. You probably see uh, DeWan Jones move over to that left tackle position. Left end, they have Ogbania. I'm not even going to attempt to say the last name because I'm going to just butcher it. They have Isaiah McGeary. Okay, left end's not really a threat. Right end's a huge threat. Miles Garrett can't let him take over the game. Then they have Keontae Baldwin. Defensive tackles, Dalvin Tomlinson. Tommy Togia, okay. So far, uh, Miles Garrett, the only threat I see. Cameron McGrone, and they have Michael Hobson. Middle linebacker, Monty Rice. Jordan Donnell, not really threats. Jeremiah, you know what? I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to mess it up. I won't even disrespect you like that. He's a threat. So far, two threats I see on this uh, Browns defense. Okay, third threat alert. Denzel Ward. Here's the fourth threat. Martin Emerson Jr., 84 cornerback. They have Cameron Mitchell, Thomas Graham Jr. The cornerback position looking pretty good. There's a fifth threat. Uh, Juwan Thornhill. Or Juan? I don't know. 81 overall. Elijah Norton back up. Julius Cannon, strong uh, safety. And who's their kicker? Jack Pod Lesney. I probably messed that up. Bradley P Pignon. I don't know. I, I said Buffalo had a bad team. They cooked us. The Browns probably have a worse team than Buffalo. But listen, defense, as long as Miles Garrett doesn't take over and as long as Nick Chubb doesn't take over, I feel like we can win this game. It is time for playoff football. We play the Cleveland Browns in the divisional. First time we played Cleveland this entire season, which last postseason was just filled with rematch. After rematch, we have Anthony Richardson versus Deshaun Watson. We have B. John Robson versus Nick Chubb. Michael Pittman versus Amari Cooper. A lot of big matchups. You have Miles Garrett. No one really matches up to Miles Garrett on our team. But like I said, we control Nick Chubb. We control Miles Garrett. I feel like we can win this game. I, I, you know, I got to put respect on Deshaun Watson, Amari Cooper, and, uh, and, oh, no, I forgot the second wide receiver. But I know they had two that were threats. There he is. That's his, his playoff debut for Anthony Richardson. We're about to go off for him. Oh, Josh Downs is back, too. All right, there's Deshaun Watson. Who, who's his second wide receiver? It's going to bother me. But let's see how his stats look. 
23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, over 3,000 yards. Not bad. Not a bad season. Not MVP caliber. As we have one of my predictions already wrong. As the Eagles go out in the second round to the Vikings. Minnesota moves on. Oh, there's a force buck. Oh, no tackle for loss. Forrest Buckner tried to make a huge impact to start off. All right, Dallas and Atlanta play after us, but ooh, Jacksonville beats Pittsburgh. I was, like, so sure we would play Pittsburgh next round. There we go, Joe Mackey. Nick Chubb's trying hard. I was, like, so guaranteed that, like, Pittsburgh would move on and play us in the conference. Two best teams in football. Pittsburgh chokes the first round. Sean Watson overthrows Amari Cooper. Wow. You know what? Shout out Doug Peterson. I, I talked trash of how he didn't deserve coach of the year. He beat Mike Tomlin. First, uh, Pittsburgh's first playoff game beats Mike Tomlin. Goes on to the AFC Championship. Shout out Doug Peterson. You know, he deserves it. I mean, that's if he could beat us if we make it. But Oh, oh, Kabijan going up. Okay, that's like eight, nine yards. Wow. If we beat Cleveland, we play a division rival in the conference. That is crazy. Jacksonville has always been a team that plays a super tough and if playing them in the conference is going to be crazy. Come on, Bijan, you got the old Miles Garrett. Oh no, we fumble. Oh, we pick it up. All right, that was not good at all. Miles Garrett is being a difference maker already. Sorry, go Bijan, go right back to him, run, build that confidence back up. Miles Garrett is already being a game changer. You know what, let's put Alec Pierce on a curl. Let's see, do they give us Alec Pierce? They give us Isaiah, oh, no you don't, no, oh, okay. As long as it was an interception. All right, defensive game so far, both teams three and out. Something gotta go. Oh, Nicobe, there's Nicobe Dean, he's getting some playing time. Didn't play all season, he comes in for the play, oh, so Someone get Nick Chubb. We sent the house for Nick. I, I was generally excited to play Pittsburgh. Like, I was scared they might, like, be able to beat us. But we play a division rival. Someone we played already. Oh, okay. He went out of bounds. Oh, Joe Mackey's here. Where's Eric? Oh, oh, no. I didn't mean to pick. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no. So, Mario Kiki. Wow. Joe Mackey's getting more playing time. You know what? That's because, um... Oh, Joe Mackey making a tackle for laws. Wow, Joe Mackey. Shout out Joe Mackey. Making a promotion because him and Eric Kendricks are the same overall. Oh my god, I shout him out and he gets flattened. Yeah, that's our new linebacker thing now is Joe Mackey and Shaquille Leonard because Joe Mackey, because uh, he's a lower overall than Eric Kendricks. Air, ooh, overthrows him. All right, get a stop again. Let's get some points now. Yeah, I pointed out Joe Mackey, uh, same overall as Eric Kendricks. And Eric Kendricks was getting the, like, position at middle linebacker because he was a higher overall, except for on four threes. But now because Joe Mackey is the same overall, Joe Mackey getting playing time. Oh, there we go. Great block by Clinton Nelson. We're just built for the playoffs. We're already Super Bowl champions. We're just built differently. Oh, oh, there you go. Bobby Dresker. He, welcome back, Rook. All right, we're going jet sweep. Hopefully Miles Garrett doesn't ruin my entire day. Okay, play action. Uh, th th okay. I thought it was gonna be an interception. I was hoping Jelani Woods would get open. Ooh, do they give Bijan anything? You know, let's put Bijan on a. Do we put Bijan on a streak? Screw it. Why not? Let's see what happens. We're going deep to Bijan. Go, go, Bijan. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Try to get this first down. Let's see, who do they give us? Michael Pittman wide open. That's what they get. Oh, this is a touchdown. Pittman gets the first touchdown of the playoffs. All right. Just got to keep on getting stops. Don't let Nick Chubb do anything. Nick Chubb, I mean, they lead the league in rushing. Nick Chubb has been carrying them. We stop Nick Chubb. Oh, Deshaun Watt. Oh, he jukes out whoever that was. I don't, I didn't even see who it was. Did he juke it? I think he juked out Shaquille Leonard. Look at that. Nakobe Dean and Joe Mack again playing time together. You love to see it. Oh, come on. Get get him, Julius Brent. Don't let Nick Chubb do anything. I feel bad for Eric Kendricks because I praised how good he's been for us this season. And now Joe Mack, he just... Oh, oh Julius Prince picks off Deshaun Watson. It's a pick six. He's going. He's gone. Deshaun Watson overthrows the pass. 
Julius Prince is just in the right position. All right, Deshaun Watson already looking bad for the Browns. He took away what made the Browns work in Nick Chubb, and they are just collapsing right now. Oh, that that's ooh. C come on, get him to Forrest Buckner. Did Amari Cooper come back? I don't know. Amari Cooper is not back at all. Oh. Play act. It's not a play action. Should have known. They just feed Nick Chubb over and over again. They took away their main power move, and they are going no. We get a sack. Who is that? Christian Barmore. I love playoffs are here, and our defense is different. Joe Mackey getting playing time. Garrison Kyle got playing time, but the injury. Oh, that's just a great find. He drops it. All right, we just run the ball, and the quarter. Last time we did this, Garrison Kyle made us pay for it, but it's all right. They are trying so hard to get Nick Chubb going. We took that away from him right up the middle. Go, Bijan. Go, get the first down. The game plan has worked. Make sure Miles Garrett is not a difference maker. Make sure Nick Chubb isn't a difference maker. And this Browns team does nothing to us. And we get right by a small hole to get nine yards. Miles Garrett tried. That first quarter, he gets a fumble. He's almost a huge difference maker. So we get the first down there. Continue to run that ball. Why not? Oh, we don't even need the blocks. Juke, keep on going, Bijan. All right, now we go play action. We've been running it this entire drive. Go play action, see what they give us. Oh, Michael Pittman. Oh, almost picked off. Of all the times I ran that play action, I think that's the first. I threw it deep to whoever square or whatever it was. Usually it's R1 or the circle, but they were both covered, so I said, screw it, throw it deep. Oh, I, I just wanted the first down. I found a hole and I could have had more. Oh, this counter play is going to go crazy. Come on, Bijan. It's all you, buddy. Oh, got blocked a little bit there. All right, play action time. What do they give us on the play action? Isaiah Likely. There you go, buddy. We are having our way with this Browns team. Oh, B. John's going to get B. John's in there for a rushing touchdown. All right. 21 zip. It looks like we will be playing the Jaguars. All those questions toward the end of the season where we were showing like a little bit of sluggishness, being bad and stuff like that. Oh, Glenn McKee picks off Deshaun Watson. Those questions are out the book. We're here. We are Super Bowl contenders. We're going to march right through any team that's in our way. Deshaun Watson is just a liability. Does not stand a chance against us. I mean, the defense is trying their best. All right, middle H ho. Let's see what they give us. It's Isaiah Likely. First down. Ooh, Josh Downs is open for a touchdown. All right. I mean, Alec Pierce has the perks to go better inside. Oh, it does work. He's an X-Factor for a reason. We have controlled this game. We start off, like, kind of rusty, slow. The defense was doing their thing, but, oh, Bijan's in there. Bijan's in there. Wow. Th that, those stats are terrible for a playoff matchup. To think they beat Kansas City. I guess Kansas City could not stop Nick Chubb. Oh, get him, Shaquille Leonard. Get him. All right, Joe Mackey. This is all you. Stop Nick Chubb. Is it a pat? It's a run. Oh, get him. No first down. He's fight. He fought for that first. All right. What will the... What will Cleveland do this now? Oh, no Nick Chubb. Oh. Oh, he almost picked it off. But instead, swatted away. He tested Glenn McKee again. So far, this defense feels like... Like them. That's all I can say. Feel brand new. Shaquille Leonard getting right by that line. Shaquille Leonard got right by the offensive line. Could not be stopped. Here, go. Oh, oh, Deshaun Watson got me, dude. I thought I had everyone covered. Or at least good enough to stop a first. So just, oh, there you go. Nick Cross getting the tackle. We are playing just a solid game. A perfect. You know they're going to pass here. Uh-huh. Watch Nick Cross. Oh, no. oh, we almost pick it off. Ju if Julie's friends didn't slip. I say watch Nick Cross. I meant to say watch Nick Chubb. But it was perfect. It's perfect. Oh, Sean scrambling. He's going deep. Stop testing Glenn McKee. He may not have been that great in the regular season. He's cooking today. 
Come on, Bijan. Oh, nope, they got him. All right, hopefully we get a first down here. Where did they give us? Oh, we lobbed it up, but it's all right. It, it was almost a first. I panicked, because I was like, ooh, Isaiah likely is being pushed. But either player would have been open if I passed it to them. B. John Robson gets the first. This Browns team started off playing us so well defensively, but it's just gone away. Oh, oh, okay, thrown away, I guess. I was backpedaling, just hoping not to get hit, hoping someone would get open. Did not work. Oh, Josh Downs is open. I thought they'd leave Pittman open again, but they did not. How did Isaiah likely get in his X Factor? Oh well. Oh, Alex Pierce is wide open. Well, Miles Garrett got a sack. Hopefully that does not get him going. They're just gonna pass. There's no way they run. Okay, they're taking the tackle for loss. Oh, they're going. Hurry up. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Is no one guarding Nick Chubb. I'll guard Nick Chubb. Oh. I could have picked that all. Is it inbound? He fumbles. Pick it up. Go, Julius Brent. Uh, wow. We are just forcing turnovers. The Browns have given up. They have collapsed. Throwing it deep. Oh, that's intercepted. Denzel Ward got us. I thought jump ball Alec Pierce had a chance. Oh, we had a dumb turnover, but we know they're passing. So there's that. Watch. Oh, Nick Chubb. Oh, we almost got a pick. That ball went flying. All right. Cleveland is not having a fun day so far on offense. We go for a tackle. They have one timeout. Third and six. It's probably an inbounds. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good defense. You kill them. All right. We're just going to run the ball and end the quarter. This game is going way better than I thought it would. Oh, Bijan. Bijan doing his thing? Time out. We're within, like, getting a shot at a field goal. Why not take the chance if they give it to us? Oh, I did. I. Oh, weak. Oh, how'd he drop that? It was a bad throw. Definitely would have been picked off. But Josh Downs definitely could have caught that ball. Oh, Michael Pittman. Beautiful. It's a 64 yarder. We're just going to run the ball. Okay, no field goal. Damn. Goal was to get like maybe two yards, waste three seconds, time out, but that didn't happen. They just let us run. Just, I didn't expect that. Wow, they that left side is so many players. We're just gonna go right. We're just gonna do our thing. Jump over them or not. We're gonna try to chew as much clock as possible because this game is over. We know it is. Oh, right up the middle. All right, a little slant play. Throw in as many different plays as possible. Do they give us Bijan? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alec P. Oh. Our line did not block for us. Ooh, Pittman 101. Pierce 101. Do they give it to us? Al Michael Pittman. Just, he's a grown-ass man. He's just tough. Give the ball to Bijan Robinson, who's been going off. They are sending pressure on us. We don't usually run a bench play, but let's see what our guys can do for us. Alec P not this time. Mm -mm, not going to pick us off that time, Benzo. We just let Alec Pierce get right in front of him. There we go. Screen play. That's a first. Quinton Nelson, beautiful blocking. All right, play action time. See what they give us. Josh Downs is open. Get in that end zone, Josh. Get oh, they call him. All right, Bijan Robinson. Let's see if we get you another touchdown, buddy. Oh, go right around, right around. Touchdown. There's a flag. It's holding, isn't it? No, not Quentin Nelson. Don't tell me it's on Quentin. Come on, he just won best lineman. That is unfortunate. We had a touchdown. All right, what do they give us? Isaiah likely. Why not? Ah, man. I Probably could have passed that ball to Pittman, too, to be honest. Oh, Dresker's open. Go. Ah, how many yards? Six yards. Bijan had the touchdown before. We're going to give him a chance to get it again. Why not? Oh, go, there you go. It was his touchdown. Screw the holding. He deserves it. 35 to zip. That is just crazy. All right. Do they abandon the run? Do I try it for a sack here? No. Ah, get him. They, get it. Oh, no, Kobe Dean gets it. He got tackled. He had his tackle broken, I meant. The game's definitely over with, but, uh... Oh, dope. Where are they going? Uh-uh! Oh, don't test Julie's friends. 
Deshaun Watson is testing us, and our defense is on point. They're probably going to pass. It's not a pass. It's not a pass. I committed to the pass. We made Nick Chubb fumble. We made Nick Chubb fumble. I ran in with whoever it was, just pressed R1, and they punched that ball right out. Oh, there you go, Bijan. Truck him, truck him, Bijan. We are dominating the Cleveland Browns. They've given up mentally. Oh, go back inside. Oh, keep on fighting. Bijan Robinson. I want him to get over 200 yards. The way he's been playing, he's just, oh, no blocking. Eh, we didn't lose a yard. All right, we're looking for Dresker here on a first down play. Maybe Isaiah Likely? Who do they give up? Isaiah Likely is wide open. First down. We don't usually try the play action flood, but why not? Let's see what happens when we do this. Rolling out. Keep rolling. Ro oh, Dresker. Rookie gets a playoff touchdown. They they lost Amari Cooper that first quarter. And I don't think... Oh, Elijah Moore. That's who I forgot. He hasn't been noteworthy. Noteworthy, so that happened. I wasn't sure if I messed up saying noteworthy, but had to repeat myself just to make sure. All right, what are they doing? Oh, oh, get oh! I missed the tackle. That's just well. I talked about Elijah Moore. There he is. Wow. Are we gonna like pitch a perfect game? Just shut them out completely. Shaquille Leonard. Someone get Nick Chubb. All right. Just get it stop, guys. I I want the perfect game. Oh, it's a screen. I didn't even know. Oh, there we go. No first down for him. It's funny they showed a graphic of us as the number 32 team when it comes to defending the pass and we've held them to 50 something yards oh no first down for you well i think this is probably our last drive with the starters all right Bijan, let's get you that 200 buddy oh, they do not want him getting it oh i thought that was Bijan who got injured uh the, i would go to the you know what screw it we're going to the left i don't care that miles garrett is there we're going to miles garrett still gets the deck and, Bijan Robinson needs five yards to get 200. That's all I want for him. I just want the best for him. All right, we got 200 for Bijan. Let's try to feed some of our receivers, shall we? Oh, didn't let Miles get. Oh, I saw the injury. I thought Anthony Richardson went down. As soon as I saw that injury, I had just flashbacks of that game against Tennessee or whatever. Anthony Richardson went down. There you go, Jelani Woods. Get you some yards, buddy. Oh, man, that was scary. I, I would have, like, cried knowing I could have benched Anthony Richardson at any point but kept him in and he got injured. There you go, Bijan. Don't even take the hit, Ant. Okay, we got the ball. All right. What are they going to do? Oh, I messed up. I, I pressed X too many times. I hiked that ball and just immediately threw it. I was mashing it. Okay, what did they get? Oh, Alec Pierce. Denzel Ward on Alec Pierce has been beautiful. Ooh, what did they give us this play? Pittman, Dresker. Say likely? Bijan Robinson. He's open, staying bounds. Jump in there, buddy. 49 zip. If we can stop them here, we're, blow we're giving them a blowout. A shutout, I mean. Stop them here, guys, and we get that perfect game, which may be the first ever time I've held a team to zero points. Watching Nick Chubb. Oh, oh, he just straight up drops it. Maybe Glenn McKee tipped it out, but I think he dropped it. Where are they going? Is it curls? Ooh. Someone get them? Big hits? They are playing for pride right now. They are playing just to get some points on that board. Oh, that's not even a playable ball. All right. Come on, guys. I don't want them scoring any points. Not Nick Chubb. Someone get Nick Chubb. Get him. I was scared of what would happen if the middle was open. Or that wide receiver went to the middle. Oh, I left Nick Chubb. Oh, it, it's not fourth and third. Who would have thought Kirk Cousins gets to play a playoff game with us? Oh. Brandon Gates, they are not letting Brandon Gates get any low. Ooh, I didn't want Bijan. Oh, I forgot to take out Isaiah Likely. That is tough. Um, screw it. Bijan's open and Kirk has not over. All right. Come on. You got this, Kirk. Show him what you're about, Kirk. Nolan Little. Go. The little engine that could. Goal is just to run out the clock. That's really just it. Come on, Brandon Gates. Oh, they're giving Brandon Gates some room. We run this. 
and it's probably two minute warning time. Oh, they got him immediately. All right, slants. See what you guys can do. What do they give us? Oh, there we go. Donovan Barlow, the rookie, gets his first playoff reception. Two minutes away from walking out of here. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Truck breaks a tackle. Oh, he wanted that touchdown badly. We could just go into our win formation. If Jelani Woods gets a rushing touchdown, Jelani Woods gets a rushing touchdown. Oh, yeah. Jelani Woods ends the game with a rush. Does he get a rushing touchdown, though? Oh, oh. Push him forward, Earl Newsom. Give Jelani Woods that rushing touchdown. Oh, 56 to 0. That's just sad. Do they end the game? Nah, they're not going to run the ball. They're going to try to pass this, right? Oh. Get him, Justin Simmons. End the game. Christian Barmore gets injured at the end. Comes in for. Oh, BJ Hill comes in for Christian Barmore. Very interesting. What are they going to do? Curls. Oh, they're going deep. Oh, no one's there. If this was realistic, they would have kicked the field goal to just score points. Oh, they're going. Okay. Oh, my. You know what? Screw it. Julius Brent's take it home. T they shouldn't have thrown that ball. Why not? Sorry, Deshaun. You were dumb enough to throw that ball. Wow, we pitched a perfect game. Shut out Cleveland. I didn't see this coming. They had no answers. Defense played a perfect game. The lo the worst any quarterback has played against us. As soon as we took away Nick Chubb, Deshaun Watson fumbled. Look at these sets. Anthony Richardson, 256 yards, three touchdowns. Deshaun Watson, 126 yards, four interceptions. Kirk Cousins, 48 yards. E. John Robinson, 206 yards, three touchdowns. Nick Chubb. 68, Brandon Gates 26, Deshaun 24, Jelani Woods 2 and a touchdown, receiving Eddie Hobbs 41, Isaiah Likely 48, Bijan 30 and a touchdown, Michael Pittman 83 a touchdown, Bobby Dresker 35 a touchdown, Nick Chubb 8 yards, Alec Pierce 22, Mark Cooper 24 got injured in like the first quarter, Donovan Barlow 12 yards, No Little 36, Jelani Woods 21, Josh Down 17, Cedric Tillman 42, Elijah Moore 11 yards. As for the defense, Christian Barmore gets a sack. I hope he comes back. Miles Garrett with a sack. It's two sack or one sack for both teams. And interceptions. Glenn McKee with two. Julius Brents with two. Julius Brents is your defensive player of the week. Denzel Ward one. This is the first time I've ever seen a score by quarter where the other team has no line. It's just a straight up. They have nothing. Well, we will be playing the Jacksonville Jaguars the third time we play them this season, division rival. I hope you all enjoy. Jacksonville's going to be tough. We always have crazy games against Jacksonville. They are probably the worst matchup we could have got because I don't want to play Jacksonville. I hate playing them because it's just how tough they play us. Hope you all enjoy. See you next time.